<laughs> Scientists looking for life on other planets like to talk about the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. And now NASA's found a planet that's right in that zone. Thank you, Aurora. Uh, <laughs> don't pack your bags just yet, though. If you've traveled at the speed of light, it would still take you 600 years to get there. But it's still exciting stuff for experts like astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson of the American Museum of Natural History here in New York. Neil, great to see you again. How are you? There you go. <laughs> I, I, I totally yeah. knew you were able to do See, that. I love it. And I love the yeah. planets. Oh, yeah, yeah, on sorry. The yeah, it's, uh, you know, you got to wear your, your work on your. On but your. apparently, Kepler 22b isn't on there. No, it's not, but I, I could just put it in with a marker. Yeah. 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 So, what, how big is this? Well, most of the earlier planets that were discovered were like Jupiter sized. Uh -huh. And you say, okay, fine, glad it has planets, but we're really looking for an Earth sized planet. Yeah. And then you find an Earth sized planet, you say, well, wait a minute, it's too close. Any water there would evaporate, or it's too far, it would free. You need one in the gold. Goldilocks zone to, for life as we know it. And so Kepler and the team at NASA Ames, actually in Northern California, it, it, with this reams of data, found a planet orbiting a star like the sun mm -hmm. in the habitable zone, in the zone where you would sustain liquid water. So, so, so if it was an Earth, if, so if it had an atmosphere like Earth, there'd be 70 degrees there right wow. now. 70 degrees, and that's what makes scientists believe that the potential is there for life. The potential life. is there, and it's, it's very exciting because in the catalogs of planets that we now have, this is the first time we've had an Earth-like planet in the habitable zone of a sun-like star. But what's the significance behind that? It, like you said, if there was an atmosphere, it would be 72 degrees. Well, well we, we, we're kind of biased. We're looking for life as we know it. Mm -hmm. You can imagine, I suppose, life that thrives on, on something other than water, yeah. but that's kind of, it's. But we don't know how to get a handle on that. We do have a handle on life. Every place there's water on Earth, there's life. Even the Dead Sea, you know, it's called yeah. Dead Sea because they didn't see fishes, but <laughs> you pull out your microscope, there's, there's, there's there. microbes yeah. everywhere on Earth. There's what do you water. do with the information as you pursue and research this planet? How does it help life here on, the, that, on, on this Earth? Excellent question. We, you build the catalog of these planets that could have life. Mm -hmm. Now you have a second round of observations to try to see the atmosphere, to see if the atmosphere has biomarkers for thriving life on its surface. And then you, then you say, well, if I ever have the chance to go somewhere, what is the, what, or to target telescopes to listen for intelligent life, that, that those are going to be at the top of the list. So what, I mean, what's next now that they've discovered it? Um, it ain't close. I know, it's not <laughs> close. I mean, I'd be on the next ship, I promise you. If it, yeah. But our, our fastest spacecraft today, it would take, when I was 600 times 10, it would take something like 300,000 years to God, get there. I love an astrophysicist. Back of the mind. envelope calculations. <laughs> like that, that was live, an astrophysicist no, no, mind no, doing all those numbers. No, 600 million light no, years. No, no, it, it would take probably even longer. I, I undercalculated that. But the point is, <laughs> If you're going to ever do an experiment like that, you want to, the experiment to be resolved before you die. Yeah. Right. See, so. so yes. <laughs> so don't, so don't like tip <laughs> off any other scientists. This code for that. Neil deGrasse Tyson, thank you so much. We really appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thank you. they got to come up with a better show. name for it, too. This Kepler 22. We'll, do, we'll have a naming contest. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> thank right. you, Neil.